Hello to everyone visiting Farbad today. This is the moment you've all been waiting for. I'm happy to say that the Carnal Cavalcade is officially ready to kick off. But before we begin, I have a very important announcement to make. Some of you may have heard rumors going around. Last night, Gaspar Dillon, CEO of Vegas Films, sadly passed away unexpectedly. I'm not at liberty to disclose what took place. I'm sure more details will be revealed at a later date. Now, I understand that some people may object to us moving forward with the festival. However, Gaspar was a man of his industry. He wanted this event to succeed as much as anyone. That's why we've decided to proceed to fulfill his wish. We hope you all can understand. Thank you, thank you. I appreciate it. The growth of our film industry owes a lot to the prosperity of our country in recent times. There are some skeptics out there who say once the good times come to an end, we'll become divided all over again. But I'm sure you all know, as well as I do, that when it comes to the silver screen, race, ethnicity, and nationality don't matter a bit. Everyone in the audience is equal and gets to enjoy the greatest experience we can offer. Gaspar Dillon left his dream unfulfilled, and for him, this little show business of ours will reach heights he scarcely dared to hope for. Enough rambling from me. It's time for everyone to relax and forget their troubles. Bathe in this sea of beauty that makes even the goddess herself blush. That's right. I'm talking about all these gorgeous girls I have with me who've descended upon Tharbad, the city of pleasure. Okay, everyone, all together now. Get ready for the ride of your lives. Here we go! Let, Let the Carl Cavalcade begin. begin!
It's been ten years. A whole decade since I grafted those disparate branches together. It's time to witness just what sort of fruit that garden will bear now that it has blossomed in full. Oh, aren't you a troublemaker? Goodness me. But I suppose as a relative of sorts, I owe it to the offspring of the heretics to watch over them and see just how they've grown. And now, before the main award ceremony, I'd like to take this opportunity to announce the winners of the Film and Actor Prizes. First, the Tharbad Film Festival's first award for outstanding achievement goes to... Golden Blood, directed by Salvatore Gotti of Vegas Films. Next, the Tharbad Film Festival's first ever, most prestigious Leon Dor goes to... Wolves Requiem, directed by Leslie Lam of Kowloon Pictures. Ah, next time, we'll see who has the last laugh. <laughs> Be gentle with your revenge when the time comes, yeah? Nice one, Gotti! Moving on to the Actor Awards. The winner for Outstanding Actor is... Lafar Osnavor for his lead performance in Wolves oh, Requiem. It's Lafar. Meanwhile, the award for Best Actor goes to... Albert Granger for his leading role in Perfect Driver 2. Next, the winner for Outstanding Actress is... Judith Lanster for her lead performance in Golden Blood. Judith! And finally, the award for Best Actress goes to... Nina Fenley, the lead actress of Wolves Requiem. Nina Fenley! Well, you did it, Nina. Congratulations! You've managed to beat the pants off me. Judith, thank you. I couldn't have done it without such an amazing film. Judith! Nina Fenley! Judith! I can't believe it's finally happened! Nina Fenley has surpassed Judith Lanster as an actress! We're seeing history unfold right before our eyes! Magazines are bound to have a field day with this tomorrow. On that note, those of you with invitations are free to proceed to the award reception atop the hotel. Everyone else, there's plenty more excitement left in store, so don't go anywhere! Oh, yeah! Now the real fun begins, baby! Time for part two of my carnal cavalcade! Let's bring out some new guys and girls! Got, Got it!
Huh? Uh... Is that? Hey, what's going on? What's wrong, Shahina? Are you okay? Uh, are you feeling tired? Uh, I can take over if you... Tell me, you're not satisfied just being some substitute for your sister, are you? You are better than that. You want to shine yet brighter, don't you? To prove that you deserved the spotlight from the start. Then shine. Shine golden as the sun and consume everything around you with your brilliant rays. I... need to shine. Shine for Sara. Brighter than her. More. More. I have to shine more! What the? Oh. Everyone should shine together. Huh? What's wrong, you guys? <laughs> I feel like I've jumped straight into the screen. Dude, are you okay? Shut up! Don't get in our way! <laughs> What's all this commotion? Hell. Everyone, get ready to suppress- Damn! Are you all too? Don't tell me you're trying to crash the party, sir. That's not very funny. Yeah, Inspector. Come on, enjoy it. Enjoy yourself with the rest of us. This ain't good. Shahina! Is that mask? Shit! Guys, look over there! acting like this no they're ruining my precious cavalcade <sighs> looks like the worst case scenario we projected has come to pass Najee, get in touch with the horvatat get them to provide support to our ground forces yes your highness as you wit you might want to come up with a plan b we've already got things sorted out there You two must be with Almada. I take it you're the ones behind President Dillon's untimely passing. I think I see what's going on. That device is what's presumably made everyone out there go into a frenzy. Smart man. You must be aware of what happened in Cray and Longport. But enough talk. Let's liven things up some more, shall we? After all, we owe it to ourselves, as fellow sponsors, to enjoy this. That we do. With this, all of the pieces are now in place. I hope you don't mind keeping us company until the show's grand finale, Your Highness. Your Highness! Najee! Do you copy? Damn! I can't get through! I've got no choice. I'll have to land this thing in the Oasis. This can't be real. How is this happening? It's probably safe to assume the cause of all this is in there. If I had to guess... That angel we had a run-in with delivered its prize straight to Almada's clutches. Yes. I don't see how it could be anything else. This has to be the work of the Fourth Genesis. 
Yet its effects don't appear to be wholly indiscriminate. The people being controlled must have some sort of shared connection between them. Wait! They're just like those other tourists! And that must mean... Right. Those tainted orbal hookahs are the other piece of the puzzle. I don't understand. That doesn't explain why my sister is being affected. She's different. That mask she's wearing is what's giving her grief. Her dancing is amplifying the strength of the interference, driving these people to act so crazy. The question is when she would have gotten that mask from the culprit. Actually, wait. I think I know. It was probably sometime last night. I knew I should have stuck with her. Please tell me you're joking. There's more. What's going on here bears an awful resemblance to what took place a year and a half ago. Wouldn't you agree? Yeah. Somehow it looks like they've managed to recreate that effect out here in Calvert. What do you mean, that? It couldn't possibly be. Hey, uh, do you know what they're talking about? Yeah, I heard about it from Sal. They're referring to when that famous dancer was mind-controlled during that takeover in Crossbell. Placel, you were in the area when all that was going down, weren't you? Got any ideas on how to break the spell based on that experience? Hmm, I didn't think you'd be so clued in on what happened. That whole crisis was stopped thanks to a bunch of people coming together in the right places at the right times. But, as far as the dancer you're talking about goes, it was a fellow dancer that ultimately did the trick. She... brought her back from the depths of darkness and sent that phoenix flying high once more, so to speak. I think we can work with that. What do you think, Sara? I'll do it! Whatever chance there is of bringing Shahina back to normal, I have to take it! <laughs> Can't hold out much longer! <sighs> well, if it isn't Sara, couldn't resist getting a front row seat to watch me, huh? Shahina, I'm so sorry. I know I haven't been the best older sister in the world. Hey, what are you talking about? You should... Watch. Yeah. Watch me, sis. I'm gonna shine even brighter. So bright, I'll turn into a golden sun. I'll dance for as long as it takes. You won't have to suffer any longer. <laughs> Miss Sara, take this. It's a spare Zypha. I set it to activate a spirit jammer. Hopefully it helps you reach her. If anyone's dancing can get through to Shahina, it's yours, Sara. You can do it. We're gonna take care of the source. Silphy, you be sure to back her up. What you're doing right now isn't the dancing that was passed down to us. I'm going to dance some sense into you! As your only sister, I'll show you how it's really done! <laughs> Fine. See if I care. I'll just swallow you up too if that's what it takes. I have to keep shining brighter! I won't stop! Barrier synchronization via Genesis, over 70%. Then, now! It's open! Let's get in! <sighs> that was too damn close. You really pushed our luck by brute forcing it, you know. Come on, don't give me crap. 
We made it through, didn't we? What the heck is this? Hey, you all right in there? Yeah, just Peachy. We're gonna go bash some heads and put a stop to this. You guys take care of that parade float. Make sure to contact the CID's Edith branch and the guild while you're at it. All right, leave it to us. No, you don't have to crack the whip so hard on your own friends, do you? But I'll give you a pass, sweetheart. We'll take care of it. My head is completely spinning at this point. But you can be sure I'll be recording everything. The world needs to know about this! <laughs> now this is what I call a show. What a fine way to recreate what happened in Crossbell. That mask must originally come from the workshop, if that's the case. Well, we made use of their emperor back in the day, so I guess turnabout's fair play. <laughs> My, I haven't witnessed such an amusing little spectacle since the serpent ensnared us. That certainly brings back memories. I wonder how she's doing these days. It's over. Here goes! Activating skill. Mr. Wei! Activating the skill. Your turn, Miss Perfect. Vault in your court. Here I come! Whoa. Ben! This'll hurt. I'll dice you up! I'll take you on! Your turn, Miss Perfect! Here I come! Ha! What? Bring it on! This'll hurt. I won't let this chance slip by. Activating skill. You cannot run. Fire! <laughs> Miss Glowdown! It's up to you now. I'm on the scene. Activating skill. Here I go. This will hurt. Mr. Albright! Uh, oh. you up! They're down! Make it count, Aaron! Activating skill! Uh, 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 Get to it, man! Activating uh, skill! Pass some more! Miss Alphayed! You beat me! Whew. 
That hits the spot. That's as far as the elevator will take us. How are we gonna go from here? I believe our only option is to use the staircase. Get to work! Show them what you're really capable of! Enemy suppressed! Nice work! Watch out for ranged attacks! Get to work! Don't forget about your charge attack! Got you! Done! All right, combat finished. Gathering data. <sighs> so soothing. Like some good loot. Here I go. Look out for ranged attacks. <laughs> Get to work. Never, 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 
You could do a charge attack too now. Come back when you're stronger. Shut up! Just make with the punching and knock him out! It's over. <laughs> A chance! You're crushed! <laughs> make it count, Aaron! Energy output at maximum. I'll crush them all at once! You got it! Scary. Like the gun! Ball's in your court! If you please! Come at me! I won't let this chance slip by! I will address you all at once! Activate your skin! Not getting free! Do your work! Got a whole slew of them. Now you will fart. You're crushed. Perfect <laughs> chance. Follow you now. I'll take it from here. Boost level, maximum strength. I'm escaping skill. Here I come. Ha! <laughs> Up to you, Reset! Huh? 
That's a joke. <sighs> Not easy knocking people out without really hurting them. What took you guys so long anyway? Well, uh, I... I have no idea what you're talking about. Right. Now it's my turn to start making demands. Access to the staircase is locked, and only this key card can unlock it. So if you want to progress any farther, you'll have to lend me a hand. <gasps> I am a phantom thief, not a burglar! And my work is only just starting! They might think they've stolen this festival and its participants from us, but I'm gonna steal them right back. But even I can't handle a job like this alone, so I'm gonna give you the honor of helping me. You better not have any problems with that. Uh, puss in what? Oh, whatever. It's a deal then. Let's get moving. We need to make it to the top floor, where the awards were going to be presented! I do want to know what you were doing with those clowns, but I won't press you. For now. For now? How about never, you invasive jerk? Oh, I think I have a pretty good idea who Grimcat is now. As do I, but I think it would be best if we play along and pretend we are not in the know.
Pardon me? I know you're staring! There we go. Quit it! Even if I did, the sight's already seared into my mind. Ugh! Unsear it then! <laughs> Treasure located! <laughs> Okay, we've made it to the observation lounge. The elevator here will take us to the 20th floor.
Bet we can rest there.